today in this video we're going to talk about the mortgage approval process and why different loan officers have a different way of doing things check it out hi i'm rhonda burgess and i'm a real estate broker and mortgage broker and mortgage underwriter here in the nashville tennessee area and my firm is southern living realty partners okay i want to go over this right quick because um I see a lot of people getting, um, I don't know, they're getting bad information. Um, you know, I've said before in previous uh, videos that, you know, anybody, you can go online and get so-called pre-qualified for as big a, of a mortgage as you want. Like I said, I can go on to a lot of these online applications and from the information that I can put in, I can get approved for a million dollar loan. I can get a pre-qualified rather for a million dollar loan. But when it comes down to it, is that really going to fly? You know, when you're doing these pre-qualifications, that's just going off of the information that you put in. Um, sometime it may be the loan officer putting the information in. And again, all of that information has to be verified. So that initial system is just going off of the information that is put in at that time. That don't mean it's right. That don't mean it's correct. In my opinion, don't go out shopping for a house off of that pre-qualification. Don't do that. You want to have had the computer, the desktop underwriter to at least look at your true numbers before you eat so you can get a good idea of what you can and cannot do how much you can and cannot buy you know and what all you're going to need in order to you know get to closing this is where i like to talk to people i know i'm different uh, sometimes i don't even need to pull your credit i like to have a conversation with everyone who's trying to buy because we're going to have a conversation. It's not going to be a long conversation. It doesn't have to be a long, drawn out conversation. But, you know, you need to have a conversation with your loan officer because they need to know what, what your true situation is. Like, have you been on that same job for two years or have you been in that same field for two years? There's a difference. Have you always been an hourly employee? Have you or have you always been a salaried employee? Do you get commission? Do you not get commission? See, there's a whole lot of different ways that number one, just your income can be counted. You know, do you have uh, are you do you work more than one job? Um, are you a gig worker? Do you make, you know, extra money, you know, doing gig work, doing a side hustle or what? If so, how long have you been doing that? Have you included that on your taxes? See, a lot of times you don't have to pull somebody's credits to get a full picture of what's going on. The credit and the credit score can come later. You know, I like to have a conversation to see where you're at. What have you done before? Especially if you've been all over town and been letting other lenders and stuff pull your credit. I don't want to pull your credit. I don't want to pull your credit until I absolutely positively have to, you know, if you've done the homework. Okay. Here I go again. If you've done the homework, you should have an idea of what your credit score is, whether you're using score master or not, whether you just went straight to Experian. Cause I've talked about that too. You can go, or, or if you've gone to, um, annualcreditreport.com and um, you've gotten your credit report. Maybe even if you have a credit score off of like Credit Karma or whatever. Sometimes if I can just hear what the score was, what the score is, and just in talking to you, I can figure out what's going on. You may not always need a credit pool. OK, so sometimes I can just say to you, this is what it sounds like to me is where we're at. You know, you, you tell me, is that is that what you you know, is this your experience? Is this where you're at? Is this where you think you're at? OK, then once we get on the same sheet of music, then we can pr proceed with pulling the credit and all this. I'm like you. I don't I don't like I don't like a whole lot of credit pools. I know it don't 
you know, it's it's not necessarily detrimental to your credit. But I took like I told y'all before, you need to do all your credit pulls within a tight little window. You know what I'm saying? So like the 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 scoring model what and everything knows when you're more you're shopping. Because let me say this, when you go to a car dealer and a car dealer pulls your credit, they know the system knows that's a car dealer. And then it automatically knows that there's probably gonna be multiple other pools behind that because the dealership pulls it but then all of the uh lenders that they um that they submit to that they're going to submit your application to may pull your credit too it's the same thing with a mortgage when a mortgage company or a bank pulls your credit it's going in and pulling the mortgage credit report residential mortgage credit report or you know that's what it's going that's what it's going for. It's pulling to try to qualify you for a mortgage. So again, if you're applying at more than one bank, uh, more than one broker, whatever, do all your pulls within the same week. If you're going to do that, you know, if you're applying at more than one place, get all your credit pulls done within the same week or as close together as possible. Same week, same two weeks max. Because otherwise you don't want to pull like you don't want to have your credit pulled now in January and then you don't do anything else with your credit. Maybe you're not ready yet. You know, maybe I'll tell you, OK, you're not ready. We need to clean up this, this and this. And then you're going to have another credit pool in March or April. You don't want to do that because that, that will cost you points when those when those mortgage credit report pools are too far apart. OK, so that's why I'm saying it doesn't always necessarily you don't have to pull somebody's credit to to really get an idea of whether or not they can be approved. You know, um, you know, like a lot of times when you be online and you be buying stuff and it'll be like, OK, we'll do us. They'll do a soft credit pool to see if you get qualified for, you know, the, the credit card or, or whatever financing that you're going for. The soft credit pool is cool cool because they don't they don't affect your score at all but do not do hard credit pools do not do an application with this lender and that lender and this just because you're not hearing what you want to hear okay i run into a lot of people who think they're ready because they're better off than where they started from or they're better off than they were six months ago or a year ago you know, but they may not still be to that point where we're ready to, you know, go forward. So just be cognizant of whether or not the the whichever lender that you, you're wanting to work with, be cognizant of whether or not they want to talk to you. Because if they don't want to talk to you and they're just like, oh, OK, you know what? I, you can just fill out this little application and they, you know, and you see on there, it, it discloses to you they're going to pull your credit. OK, that may not be the right place to go at first. It's just, you know, everybody may not. It, it, I, most people, I'm, I will say, I would probably say like 75 to 80 percent of the people I talk to, you're not ready. The first time we talk now, once you, you know, we've talked and we established a game plan because we need to get documents together and everything, because it may be I may need to calculate your income depending on how you've been paid, if something changed, if you changed jobs, what went on, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes the first meeting may not necessarily need a credit pool. And, and that's just my opinion. That's just how I do it. I, I like to develop, I have developed an ear and I like to listen to what your situation is because everybody's situation is different. You can have two people that work the same job sitting next to each other, right? Every day you sit next to 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 Susie Q and y'all could be the same age and y'all could be making the same wage and your files are totally, totally different because everybody's credit is different. Everybody's situation is different. Maybe Susie's getting uh, maybe she's, you know, maybe she's divorced and she's getting child support. OK, cool. How old is that child? Is the, is the child support going to continue for at least two more years? If not, I, we can't count that. You see what I mean? You know, I have people that will say, well, I'm on um, I'm on disability. OK, is that a permanent disability or is that temporary disability?
you know, there's a whole lot of different factors that go into, you know, um, applying for a loan and getting approved for a mortgage. Okay. So again, like I said, I like to talk to you before we even pull any credit or whatever. And like I said, if you've done your homework, nine times out of 10, you've got your credit report. Like I said, either you, 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 you use a score master, you use an experience, you got a credit report somewhere. We can just look at that credit report. Don't be so eager to let everybody pull your credit, get all in your Kool-Aid and they don't know the flavor. You know what I'm saying? Because you, everybody's an individual. And what applies to you may not apply to the next person or the situation that the next person has may not even apply to you. OK, so, again, just make sure that whenever you're talking to someone. If they're in a rush to pull your credit, mm, I don't know about that. I might would I might would back up off of that. But again, if you're if you're applying now because you think you're ready, if you're going to do more than one credit pool, pull them all together, do them all in, you know, a relatively short amount of time. Um, as I, uh, stated in my last video, um, I am originating loans, uh, again, uh, for a, uh, bank out of Texas. So if you need my help, I would be glad to help you. Um, there's two links. There'll be links in the description where you can reach me, where you can schedule a call and we can, we can talk about it again. I'm, I'm going to talk. We're not going, we're not running to pull credit immediately off the rip. All right. Again, I want everyone to have a very prosperous and and in and, and a good 2024, whatever your goals are. Thank you. And as always, have a blessed day.